All right, looks like we got Taternator coming onto the commentary stream. I can't, I can't, like, so it won't do that to you. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you, buddy. So, looks like we have Falcon versus Bowser. Now, what do you think of this matchup? I don't think I've really seen it in Ultimate, honestly. Uh, I think we're going to see a lot of attacks and a lot of, like, really good screens. Right. I feel like Bowser, you know, that Fire Breath will stuff out a lot of Falcon's approach options and then a really strong grab game coming from him, especially with that frame six command grab. Oh, that is, that is my favorite. It looks like he's doing a good job of kind of keeping Falcon in the right now. Yet again, Falcon manages to find his way in, gets a back air and gets a forward tail, but manages to get interrupted by that command grab, like I was saying earlier. All right. I like, I like the attempt there. No, I feel like he, he, he went for it because he knew that like if he did an air dodge, he would be dead. But I wish he had gone out a little bit further, maybe like with a Nair edge guard. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, he died for that too. I, I feel like I feel like there could have been a little bit better DI on that. But uh, no, I think I think honestly that percent is done. But Charlie has been doing a good job of using both side features. Right. Um, And again, each of those side beats does almost like 20%. And yet again, here's the fire breath doing about, it can do about 40. Yeah, if you get the full fire breath, you just, oh. <laughs> is a, doing a lot of fun Bowser tricks. Uh, let's see how like here. Uh, just letting it back on the stage, but no punish on the re-grab. I think um, probably the right hold to just kind of hang back and do an edge guard situation. Kind of All right. I know Falcon's a lot. He's able to grab you a lot easier from ledge. Oh, from, from, with his up B? With his up B, yeah. Right. Calpo Kid, honestly, if he goes without the stock, I feel like it's going to help this a lot. Right. He's got to get it happen soon. And there it is. Yep. That was a good call, call out on the other end of that. And again, here's not going for the full fire breath. No, just doesn't want to get punished for holding it out too long, you know? But calls out that double jump with the command grab. And what's the edge guard going to look like? Oh, just fire breath on ledge. Okay. Kind of letting him get back on the stage for free. But here's the end. Oh, that was, that was a nice job block. I mean, before you would get like down air to like footstool to down air to knee, but yet again, like he just doesn't seem to be able to get in in the air at all because Bowser just grabs him, just goes a yoink, and then like you're, you're what are you gonna do? You you eat 20%, and you're off stage. And I feel like. A lot of what he's been doing is he's like, okay, Falcon's going to be either right in front of me or he's going to cross me up. And depending on where I am on the ground, I'm just going to command grab it for it. Like, worst case, if I miss and I auto-cancel when I land on the ground, you know? I, w I was assuming that the ES was like Asada or like. Oh, I thought it was just Harmless Tag actually. Uh, game 2 FD. Um, I think that was a good pick on Asada's part. Right. I feel like Bowser doesn't get to bully you as much on the stage as he does in the battle. Alright, and then the like, no platforms allows Falcon to kind of you know, command that ground. It'll go for a lot more grounded approach options. Which oh, yeah. Bowser kind of struggles in a little bit. He struggles in grabbing the first option. It's just more of, I don't know, my main thing that I'm thinking is you don't have a platform to escape to while Bowser's got you in the screen. You have a lot more options as Falcon. I, I, can, I can see that, but I feel like Falcon's approach options on the ground are just way stronger than Bowser's, and so, yet again, when you can. When, when he was losing the entire like first game, that he was trying to approach in the air and he kept on getting grabbed in the air for it. So now that he's a lot more grounded focused, you know, he's able to get a lot more strings going, I feel like. Again, 
punish for that uh, poorly spaced F tilt. Nice with him to run away from back air, and yet again, he's just trying to uh, safely space back airs so that Bowser can't punish him, but unfortunately, he's going to get caught in that double jump. I feel like he's respecting Bowser's command grab way more. You know, he's not so much blindly rushing in. Oh, he could try and go for it all for that knee, but I feel like a dare to like an up air knee setup would have been a little bit better. And I honestly, I could tell you. <laughs> That's an interesting out of shield option. You don't really see Bowser's go for that all the time. But I mean, it's damage at the very least. Alright. I think Carnage is not a. Ended up being clear down there. Alright. Oh! And yet again, uh, Carnage saw is very lucky that he caught that uh, down B in the middle of it instead of the beginning. Because if that was at the beginning of it, that would have spiked him. Ooh, but you can't just. Manages to finally land that down air. I think a couple kid, you know, was losing for most of the game, but finally like picked up a little bit of a lead right there, and unfortunately losing it right as I said that. Yet again, good up these out of shield, you know, being like, okay, if you're gonna space poorly on my shield, I'm just gonna up the everything for you. Oh, that was such a bold read right there. Oh, and he, yeah. I feel like, did he, did he use his double jump when he was trying to escape from Bowser, or? I felt like he was trying his double jump, but honestly, it might have been the buffer. He might have uh, gotten his double jump clipped by Carne's uh, right. double kid. Double kid, yeah. Either way, good stuff to both players. Yeah.